Question 2. A mixture of 10 cm cube of methane and 10 cm cube of ethane uh, was burnt with uh, oxygen and the residual gas passed through the potassium hydroxide. Uh, so we know that uh, potassium hydroxide uh, reacts with the CO2 that produced. Okay. All gas volumes were measured at the same temperatures and pressure. Which volume of gas was absorbed by the alkaline? Okay, so first, you need to know uh, the reactions, uh, which is the uh, potassium hydroxide react with the CO2 from the potassium carbonate and H2O. So we know that uh, the CO2 will absorb by this uh, potassium hydroxide. And from this uh, reaction mixture, we need to find out how many or uh, how much of this uh, CO2 being absorbed. Okay, so it's given uh, 10 cm cube of methane. Uh, so it's better for you to uh, construct two equations. First is the combustion of methane. Another one is combustion of ethane. For the 10 cm cube of methane, after it gets burnt, it will form 10 cm cube of uh, CO2 because the mole ratio, uh, they are the same, one to one mole. So we know that uh, this one is one to one mole ratio. When 10 cm cube of this uh, methane get uh, burned, it will form 10 cm cube of the CO2, right? Because we can use the volumes uh, to, uh, for the mole comparison when it's a gas. And followed uh, by this uh, ethane, when we use 10 cm cube of the ethane, it will form 20 cm cube of CO2 because their mole ratio is 1 to 2, right? Okay, so total CO2 that get absorbed or reacts with the alkaline is 10 cm cube plus 20 cm cube. So total is 30. Answer is C. Okay, that's all. Thank you.